today's goodbye, dear believers. As you know, we've been touching on each chapter of the Quran and each Juma. So today's goodbye is from chapter 97. 97. Entitled Laylatul Qara. Laylatul Qara. The night of power. The night of power. Alhamdulillah. So it's 97 weeks. Last week was 96. Entitled Ikra. Read. Ikra. Or Alok. The clot. That which clings. This week's kutbah from Surah 97. Laylatul Qara, the night of power, consists of five verses, five ayat, and it is an early Meccan surah, and as we know, it refers the night, refers to the night in which Muhammad the Prophet Sallallahu began receiving the revelation of the Quran. The first five verses of the Quran was revealed to Muhammad the Prophet Sallallahu in this night, Laylatul Qadr, in the month of Ramadan. And last week's surah is the, all, all those five verses, Ikra or Allah. The first five of that chapter, which has 19 verses, but the first five was revealed first, and then the other 14 was revealed later. And as we know from last week, that the first five said, Ikra, read, Ikra bismi rebika ledi kala, read in the name of your Lord who created. Kala kala in sana min Allah, created man from a clot, Allah that which clings. Ikra wa rabbukel akram. Read in the name of your Lord who was most noble and gracious, generous. el elamal bil kalam. Who taught man the use of the pen, writing. Elamal insanam elam yalam. And taught man new knowledge or taught him what he didn't know before. Those are the first verses that were revealed to Muhammad the Prophet in the month of Ramadan. And it was while he was in the cave Hira on the mountain. And that night that that occurred became known as Laylatul Qadr, the night of power. So 96 is Ikra referring to that event, the beginning of the Quran. 97 this week's tells you of the night that it happened. See how Allah arranged it? One is this is what happened. This is when it happened. So Laylatul Qadr and the Surah Ikra, you know, they're together. So the veil in Mount Hira while Muhammad the Prophet was in a cave in the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, or Ramadan. Now, we want to just take a quick note here that it was five verses, as we just mentioned, that was given to him on that night. And when, and to show the connection, when Allah speaks of that night, Laylatul Qadr, this surah here, he speaks of it in five verses. Five revelations, Ikra, five verses. And when he talks about that night, he talks about it in five verses. You see? And as we know, these things are connected because Muhammad the Prophet was told to say, Kul, and Abbasidon Mithlukum, I'm a mortal just like you. And mortals have five senses. So he had five senses just like us. And as a result of the five verses, we have the five
five salats, right? We have the five pillars. Five times a day, the salats. <clears throat> so it's very significant that 96 has was five verses originally and that this sort of here and referring to that consists of five verses. And Muhammad the Prophet Islam, was asked what is Islam? And he said, Boni al-Islam al kamsin That not only do we have five fillers, a boni is built, but Islam is built, is structured upon five. It supports all five. Boni al-Islam al kamsin built, structured, upon five pillars, like a structure, like a building. But they build upon each other. One supports the other. And we get that from the understanding Allah has a sort of called Bani Israel. Now, you have Boni establishment, same root. Bani Israel, same root. Bani children of Israel. Or you may call somebody Ibn. Bani Ibn, son. Muhammad Ibn Abdullah. Ibn is son. So these five pillars, now this ties into children because we have children and they are to build upon what we do. One after another, one generation after another. So that's how the pillars, Boni al Islam or al Kamsin, are built one upon another. You have to believe in Allah, right? And then from there you pray to Allah, right? Then as a result, of, of Salat, there's a cat, the giving, but the word cat means purification. It means growth. So through the Salat, you grow, right? And then from the Salat, it's fasting. See, all connected. And Allah says that, that he has given fasting to you as he gave it to those before you, that you may have taqwa, take you back to the top, righteousness. And then, the last pillar, the fifth pillar, is Hajj, which pulls them all together, right? Because for Hajj, you have to believe in Allah. On Hajj, you pray. Hajj, there's purification, and there's fasting. You abstain from certain, etc. So, that's the pillars, the five, they're built upon each other. It's not scattered. Now, this sort of Layla Tukara, As we know, it occurs, as we say, in the ninth month of Ramadan. So we're going to read it first, then come back to it. So this Surah 97 begins, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Surely we have sent it down in the night of power. Now to get this cutter, cutter power destination, Allah says we say of Allah, Kuli Shayin Kadir, that He has power over all things. In Surah Allah, we say, Sabbihismi Rabbika al-Allah. Glorify the name of your Lord, the Most High. Al-Ladi Talaka Fasawa. Who created and gave balance. Al-Ladi Qaddara Fahada. And who also empowered you, empowered creation with the guidance. Qaddara. So this power, this destination, that this night was destined to come. So Allah says, in the ends of now who feel a little cutter that surely we sent the Quran down in the night of power but as we would sit here and Allah has encouraged us to think and has given us a mind to think and encourage us to think after he says he sent it down in the night of power he says what will explain to you what the night of power is. What would make you know what the night of power is? 
He said, he didn't just leave us hanging. He said, well, now it all came out of the little Tocada. Think about it. And then he says, that the night of power Kairum, is better than a thousand months. But it's not a thousand months scattered. This Alfisha, this Aleph, first letter of the Arabic, Aleph. Alfi, Aleph, Alfisha, now it doesn't mean a thousand, but it means to bring together. To bring together Alfi to 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 compose. So that's how we know and say when it says it is it is um Lelo Tulkara Kairum Min Alfisha. It's a thousand brought together. And a thousand months brought together gives you about eighty-three years. But it's saying it is better than eighty-three years. At the minimum it's eighty it's worth eighty-three years. So, yeah, just to show you that this, please move up, just close the ranks, I'm please, alhamdulillah, or make room in the assembly. <laughs> now, we just said that alfi, alfi means to compose, right? If you go to the Surah Quarish, there's a Surah called Quarish. And it begins, Li'ilafi Quraysh. It doesn't say, it's not saying by the thousand Quraysh. It says by the composing, the protection, the coming together of the Quraysh. You see, Li'ilafi, Aleph, okay? So, this little Tulkata, this night of power, is better than a thousand months brought together. And what happens on this night? Allah says, "Tanazalu mala ikatu raruhu fi habi ithni rabbihi min kulli amri." And this night descends the angels and the ruh, the spirit. Bi'ithni, by the permission of Allah. They don't do it on their own. Bi'ithni, by the permission of Allah. By the permission of Reb, of their Lord, of their Evolver. The one who, who, who developed them, watched over them, watched over the angels, the spirit. The Reb, who took care of them in their development as well. By his permission, men coolly emery, obeying every command. You hear emery? That's command. Because you, you know, it, it, see these words. Emery, Amir. Amir is a leader, a commander. Amir. So emery is the command itself. So they come down obeying every command every assignment that they were given on that night. So if the assignment was to bring you blessings and goodness, there's nothing you can do, Shaitan, or anyone else to stop that. And if they are assigned to bring the punishment and the wrath, there's nothing no one can do because they're going to obey every command. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> And it says in another surah that Allah gave Muhammad the prophet were 5,000 angels <laughs> in the battle. And he has assigned to us angels, one on the right and one on the left, to help us and to guide us and to write down everything. Praise be to Allah. Those are your first soldiers. <laughs> and then it ends. Salamun. He had the meta el fajr. Peace. Salam. And this is night. And it's a peaceful night. But it says salam on. He had the meta el fajr. Peace until the rising of fajr. Until you start to see the sun. So at night it's nice and peaceful. 
and this Lelo Tulukata. And that's what Allah says, he has made night for your rest and tranquility. And day for your activity. But this also alludes to Muhammad the Prophet mission. That at the beginning, it was quiet and secret for a few years. But once, and peaceful because he was just going among his family. But once he was told to rise and proclaim it publicly, that broke the peace. That's when they began the torture and the persecution, etc. Sadaqallahu alazim. But uh, I move to say something here that shows the beauty of the Quran is just to go back to the fourth ayat where Allah says, Tanezelu malaikatu aruhu fiha. Therein comes down the angels and the spirit fiha in that month. Be if ni, be if ni by the permission, be if ni, be if ni by the permission of Allah. But if you listen to the word, and I've touched on this before, if ni, if ni, at then comes from the same root. If ni permission, at then is called the word for ear, uthum. See, they all come from the same uthum, ear, ears. Adhan. When the Mu'adhan calls or we have to listen to the Adhan, it comes into the ear. Ooh, and that's why they're connected. Because you'll see Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. The emphasis is on listening with the ears to the Adhan. And that's why they're associated because it's a call for the ears. Adhan. And Udun, ears. And it is said that many are called, but few are chosen. Be ithni law. That you can only hear the adhan in its true meaning. Be ithni law. By the permission of Allah. So we are only here as Muslims and believers. Be ithni law. By the permission of Allah. Many have heard the, the adhan. La ilaha illallah. Right? La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Many have heard, many are called, but only by the permission of Allah have we been able to truly hear it and say, Ashadu la ilaha illallah. I witness there's no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. It is Allah who makes the Muslims. So, it is by his permission that we have heard with our ears the call to Al-Islam. And let us be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that. So this night of power refers to the time as we know when the Quran was revealed with this surah. And it was revealed in the month of Ramadan as we know. Allah says in Surah 2, Baqarah, Ayat 185 of the month of Ramadan, when this night occurred in Ramadan. He says, Sha'ru Ramadan al-Ladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'anu hudan li nasi wa bayanatin min al-huda wal-furqan. Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was sent down. As guidance, who then, to mankind? And as clear guidance, and as a criteria for Quran, to help you to distinguish from right and wrong, from logical things, from illogical things. In the surah next week is a bayanat, the clear evidence. Quran just connected all the way through. Next surah is the clear evidence, a bayanat. And that's what Allah says. He sent the Quran down as hudanli nasi, as guidance 
rest of mankind while being acting in that who that in clear guidance and to help you think straight a criteria. So Allah lets us know that the Quran was revealed in Ramadan and this chapter lets us know exactly when it was revealed in Ramadan. It was at night. It was revealed in Ramadan, but it was revealed at night. And Allah says in Surah 44, Ayat 2 and 3, Wal-Kitabil-Meen By the book, book that makes things clear. Inna anzonahu fi laylatin mubarakatin Surely we sent it down in a blessed night was in Ramadan, but it came down in a particular night, Mubarakat, in a blessed night. In that kunnah mundirin, and we are ever warning, came as a warning. Now Muhammad the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as this, today's surah, Laylatul Qadr, he said that he was made to forget the exact night that it occurred. That he had this experience where Jibril gripped him and squeezed him three times and commanded him to read. And the first time he said, I can't read. Then he squeezed him again. Ikra, read. Said, I can't read. Then the third time he said, Ikra, bismi, rebika, levikala. Read in the name of your Lord who created. And then he began to read the third level. But Muhammad the Prophet, having that strange and odd experience while he was in the cave, he said he was caused to forget exactly when it happened. But he does remember that it was in the last 10 days of Ramadan. We know that. That he didn't remember exactly when, but it was in the last, the last 10 days of Ramadan. And so we know the last 10 days when the master is laid to a cutter. He said, he remembered the last 10. And we've said it enough uh, that 10 represents conscious. That he was conscious of the fact that it was the last 10 days. And we always refer to this consciousness. And there's a fight coming on tomorrow. If he get knocked down and he ain't up by 10, he's unconscious. But if he's up by 10, he's conscious. So that's in the symbol, it represents consciousness. So he said he was conscious of the last 10 days. He wasn't sure, but he was, but he, he definitely was conscious it was the last 10 nights. And an odd night. So we know from Pastor Ramadan, Leo took a an odd night, right? A odd night. A different kind of night. A strange kind of night. A unique kind of night. That's what this implies, an odd night, number-wise. But it was odd. It was a different night. I've been going to that cave for years. But it was an odd and unique and a strange occurrence that happened to me. Praise be to Allah. Now, Allah associates the Quran and the ten nights with consciousness, intelligent thinking. If you go and read chapter 89, entitled Fedger, the Dawn, you will read this. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Well, Fedri, by the Dawn. And by the ten nights. Was Chef E. Well, winter. And by the even and the odd. So you have ten nights, the even and the odd. Five and five, right? Even and the odd. <coughs> well, lately, there are yes, three. Yes, three. And by the night, as it eases away. Remember? Salamun here had that meta el peacefully by the night as it eases away. Now here's the, the, the fifth ayat in this surah. As we say, it connects 
the Quran and the Ten Nights with intelligent thinking. Because the last, the fifth ayat in this surah, Fajr, it says, Hell, fidelika kasamulidi hijri. That surely this is a bond for the intelligent man. You read all interp all of the Qur'ans, Noble Qur'an, Yusuf Ali, Asad, all of them. And you read the translation and they will translate exactly the same. Hell, fidelika kasamulidi hijri. That this is an oath. This is a bond for thinking, intelligent man, people. So, so the revelation of the Quran in these ten nights appeals to the intelligence. So this night of power is the night that Allah, little to Qatar, the night that Allah empowered, empowered the human intellect. It's big. Little to Qatar is the night that Allah empowered the human intellect by blessing us with the ability to read and write. That's why I said, Ikra, read. And then it says, who taught by the pen that he empowered the human mind, the human being with intelligence and the ability to write, read, communicate. And to show how important this is, Allah says in Al-Rahman 55, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Al-Rahman, the most gracious, the merciful, right? As a result of his mercy and grace, Alam al-Quran, he taught the Quran. And as a result of teaching the Quran, a kalakal in sand, he created the man within. Now here's the, listen to this one. Listen to this ayat here that comes. What Alam al -bayan. And he taught him clear, intelligent speech. So Allah is letting us know that that the revelation of the Quran that night is big. It is the night of power, of destiny. When Allah empowered your mind, brothers and sisters. When he truly empowered the intellect, the human intellect, to think and to move out of darkness into light. Allah empowered the mind, the intellect, thus creating a caliphah in the earth. Allah says that he said to the angels, Ja'ilun fil adi khalifa, that I am making, he says, inni, he said to the angels, inni, I, inni, Ja'ilun fil adi khalifa, I am making, I am in the process, it's not done, he didn't say Ja'ala, that I, I made, he said, Ja'ilun, I am in the process. I am making a ruler in the earth. In this earth body that comes from the earth. I am making a caliph in the earth. So this, this, it was coming. This intellect, this mind for this earth body, this animal body. It was coming over a long period of time, over the span of human history. And brothers and sisters, understand this. It reached its peak, its climax, in Leotul Qadr, in Ramadan. In the night of power, it was the climax. It reached its peak on the Leotul Qadr. That he was making it. He was making the Khalifa. But in Ramadan, in Laylatul Qadr, he made the Khalifa, Muhammad the Prophet Sallallahu He in injected in the earth from the very beginning this process. And each prophet came and leaders came. But in Muhammad the Prophet, the seal of the prophets, the complete man, that that process was completed in Muhammad the Prophet Sallallahu It had been coming, prophet after prophet, in the development, stage by stage, as we know. And it reached its fulfillment 
and Muhammad the Prophet very interesting it's called Lelo Tulkata the night of power right now it's interesting before we close think in the night came the light just think about that it's Layla night but in the night came the light Quran is called the light. Allah says in Surah 64, Ayah 8, Then believe in Allah, Rasulihi, and in His Messenger, and in the light that He sent down with Him. So the Quran is the light. But it came down in the night. Crown is very beautiful. Layla told God at the night of power. But what happened on that night? The light came. At night you see the stars, the moon, you see the light. If you go out in the day, although it's light on the earth, you can't see what's up there in the sky in the dark. The light of the sun shows us what's on the earth, but it hides what is in the heavens. We go out there now, you just see the clouds, beautiful sky, right? But there's something behind that. When that is rolled back and you see the night, then you see the other lights that are actually bigger than the sun, but their distance makes them look small. So it is interesting that in the night came the light. Allah says in, in Surah 2, 97, that he revealed this Quran on his heart. <clears throat> he says, whoever is an enemy to Jibril, who brings it from Muhammad the Prophet, Salaam, he said, for he brings down the revelation to your heart by the permission of Allah. Nezalahu Allah, kawl bikah bi ithni law, that it was brought down in this month of Ramadan on Laylu Tul Qadr. That's where we had in this surah. Laylu Tul Qadr. It was revealed on his heart. The light came down in the night. Let us close the first part of Kutbah. Rabbana Hati Nafi Dunya Hasanatain. Wafi Hati Rati Hasanatain. Waki Nam Jabin. Alhamdulillah. So as you know, we're touching on each chapter of the Quran, and today we're in Surah 97, entitled Laylu Tulkara. And for this, for the sake of those who came in after we had read it. We'll read this surah again because we're touching on each chapter. And it says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the hands of Nahu fi Laylo Tulkara. Surely we sent it down in night of power. Wa ma iraq ama Laylo Tulkara. What will explain to you what the night of power is? Laylo Tulkara kairun min alfi shah. It is better than a thousand months. Ten nezalu malahi katu aruhu fi habi itni rabihim min kuli emri. Therein comes down the angels in the spirit by the permission of Allah obeying every command. Salam on here had the metella el fajr. Peace until the rise of fajr. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So, dear believers, just some things to think about before we close. And that is that is this in a few few comments just just to think about on the second part and then a few community things you know night light night light sound the same right 
with the exception of the N and the L. Very interesting. Law says that in the alternation of the night and the day are signs for those who think, right? He merges the night into the day, etc. But just some things to, to look at in words. Night, N-I-G-H-T, -N -I right? Night, I think I spelled it right. With the N, right? And light, L-I-G-H-T. You just they just switch the first letter. Night, light. That's English, right? Night, light. Now, that Allah says in the alternation of the night and the day. Now, when you go to the Arabic, look how it goes. A layla is night. So, in the Arabic, night starts with the L. Whereas in English, light starts with the L. We got it? In the Arabic, nur is light. It starts with the N. <laughs> nur. On the harder daylight. But no, it is light. But in, in English, it will start with the L. But in the Arabic, it starts with the known, the N. To give the message, now remember what Allah says in Rahman, that he taught speech, language, etc. So all of their language is important. It's just that the Arabic is the was the best. Of the languages, the Fosha, the became Fosha with revelation. The Quran even improved upon the Arabic. But the Arabic was the best language for revelation of Quran. But all of it is taught by Allah over periods of time. And the proof of it is, if you trace them, you see the connections with Greeks, with French, with Arabic. For example, America, we always say, right? America, America. Amir, leader, ka, leader in you, right? So you find these different terms. So, so here in the English, night is the N, light is the L. In the Arabic, Layla is night, it just reverses. So Allah says, in the alternation of the night and the day are signs for those who think. So there's probably a sign even in that. Praise be to Allah. I thought that was interesting. It came to me overnight. <laughs> Wallahi. I know it's Juma. We should try. Wallahi. At 3.53 in the morning. I said, it must be Layla Tukala for me. Because I was up at 3.53 in the morning. Say it, boy. I always get those little signs. All right. So we, 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 we have to close now. But keep in mind the word cow. We can... This is, we're not all over because this is Leo Tokata. It was revealed on his heart. Tell. Tell his heart. I want to read something to you and we close. But we always want us to think. In Surah 3, 190. Okay. Allah says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. If you don't know Arabic, just, just listen and I'll, I'll explain. In nafi kawaki samawati wal art. In the creation of the heavens and the earth. Wak tilafi. Wak tilafi. Wak tilafi. Khalifa. Khalifa. The T in things is put there just for grammatic. Wak the Khalifa. Wak tilafi. Okay? In the alternation. But that tells us something about the Khalifa. That the Khalifa is leadership that changes. See that Allah said I'm making a Khalifa, just to give this point. The angels was existing, the jinn was existing. Iblis was ruling the angels. So he thought he was to be the leader all the time. I have no replacement. I'm the ruler all the time because you made me from fire. So Allah says, Jair Elon Phil art the Khalifa. I'm making somebody different from you. I'm making a leadership that rotates, that will know instinctively I'm not here for all time. So I give you what I can give you because one day I'm going to go and there's going to be another leader. So that's Khalifa. That's why they say alternation. One after another, one after another. So I'm creating a being that know instinctively. Now his ego, he may ego trip, but instinctively he knows that there's a succession. And I'm putting this out because Allah says, Wek tilafi in the alternation, Walayli wa nahari of the night and the day. The changing of the 
night and the day. La ayah tin li ulil albab. Are signs for people of wisdom. In the alternation. Now you see the word you whack to laughing. That's in 3 and 190. Getting excited. I did like this, my hands tremble like this, but it's from excitement. <laughs> Just for us to think. In Surah 24, Ayat 44, Allah says, You kalibu. Listen carefully, please, brothers and sisters. You kalibu. Kal, right? Heart. You If you read any of the translations, it will say the same. That Allah alternates the night and the day. But it uses a different word. It uses caliber. Like the heart does like this. In one place it used the same word for Khalifa. Alternate. Alternate. But here it says, you Allah alternates like the heart differently. You kalibu lahu layla wa nahara. Inna fi dalika la ibra ten li ulil absara. In that, the fact that it alternates like the heart, in that is a sign, no, is a lesson. Yes, ibra ten. It's a lesson for people who have vision. For people who see. You see, one is for, there's a lot going on. The alternation of night and day, like the Khalifa, right? And that is a sign for men of wisdom. But when it alternates like the heart, it's a sign for men and people of vision. Quran is so beautiful. And so that's why, you see why I use the Arabia? The Arabia? Because there's so much there. So now, let's go back to Lelo Tulukara. In the alternation of the night and the day, here's Muhammad Sallallahu who he's making the Khalifa. And Muhammad Sallallahu you're going to be the Khalifa in the day and in the night. It doesn't matter what happens in the world. Muhammad, the Prophet Sallallahu is the Khalifa, and his leadership will change from him. I mean, leaders will come after him, followers of Muhammad the prophet. And they will come in the night. And they will bring the spiritual teachings, right? Leaders behind Muhammad the prophet. But there will also be those behind Muhammad the prophet that will also bring you the sight for the material world, right? And that's Islam, material and spiritual. So it will change like that. You will have Muslim leaders that will have emphasis on the spiritual, the night, right? Then you will have some who will come up and say, no, we got to build. We got to have some material things. We got to see. Praise be to Allah. Then Allah says, but he changes it like the, like the heart, caliber. Whichever way they take you, they got to have a good heart. It got to be in the heart. If they're trying to lead you in the daytime like a Khalifa, the heart got to be good. If they're trying to lead you in the night, then the heart has to be good after the way of Muhammad the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we don't just follow Muhammad the Prophet and his physical rituals. That's good. And we have to do that. But Allah says of him, he made him a uswatul hasana, an excellent model, an inner person. So we have to know the inner character of Muhammad, the Prophet Sallallahu and try to emulate the beautiful character of Muhammad, the Prophet, who was kind and decent and truthful and loving of his people and of the world. So much so Allah says, did not we expand for you your chest? And remove the burden off your back and raise your steam. So we follow Muhammad the Prophet Sallallahu to the letter. Not just in ritual, which we must do as soon as we must do. But we must know the character, read and study what kind of man was Muhammad the Prophet Sallallahu I remember reading where he would be in Sajda. And I hear a little baby, my brother's granddaughter, a little baby crawling on his back. 
He stayed into Sajda until she crawled off so that he wouldn't sit up and hurt the little baby. Muhammad the Prophet's character was beautiful, sweet, and noble. And that's what we want. And then when we have that, we'll make progress because we'll treat each other even better. We treat each other good, but we treat each other better. We'll even show a little mercy if a person is a thief and come in the master and steal something. Even though we know he should get the execution of the law, all we'll say is bring it back. I think our CD player is missing. Dear believers, we just want to encourage you before we do the Salat. We have